Good evening, good night. From Jonesboro, Arkansas, 8.31 p.m., August 6, 2022. I just went on a 10-minute spiel and realized I never hit the record button. <laughs> That's good, because I didn't think I liked the way it turned out anyway. <laughs> Too much bloviating. I'm going to try not to bloviate. But you know I can't hardly do that. Keep it pithy, Jimmy. Keep it pithy. <laughs> All right, we're going to look at the savings for the Chevy Volt, Voltamort, for July 2022. And this is a few days later, and I normally put this up. That's because me and my wife, we caught uh, COVID. I mean, I've avoided it for two and a half years. She's avoided it two and a half years. We always knew if one of us got it, the other one was going to get it. It was almost a certainty. I got it uh, from a coworker of mine, I'm almost certain. I gave him a ride to work, then worked with him in the department. Two days later, he called me and told me he had COVID. No big deal. The nicest guy in the world, and he feels so bad. Oh, my God, he has apologized and apologized and apologized. Like, he did something wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. He did nothing wrong. Nicest guy in the world. But I feel sorry for him because he feels so bad about it. <laughs> so, anyway, my grandkids were here for two weeks. Visiting from Texas, thank God. They left about the time that I first started having symptoms, and I think they barely escaped it. My, uh, my kids are back home safe. So far, they didn't have any signs of it. Man, they barely escaped it. But anyway, y'all stay safe out there. But here's how many miles we drove this month, 818.4 miles. And let's look at the stats. We burned an estimated quarter of a gallon of gas. Again, I hate the way this car will not tell you how much gas you burned. I wish when you hit that trip odometer reset, it would keep up with how much gas you burned since it's been reset, what your average kilowatt hours have been since you reset it, and your total kilowatt hours that you've burned. It will not do it. And it's irritating. I wish they'd let me design the software in cars, and these are like the cars. I wish they would. I'd give drivers so much information. <laughs> It'd make their head spin. There would be so much info you could gather if they'd let me design the software. It'd be so much you could go into settings and take off all the bull crap you didn't want, I guarantee you. It'd be overkill, and that'd be fine with me. I love stats, I'm a stat person. But anyway, estimate a quarter of a gallon of gas, and I really doubt it was that much. But again, I have to guess, because there's no way of knowing. Gas cost, gas has gone down about a dollar a gallon. It was mid fours, now it's about 345, 87 cents worth of gas. And four and a third miles per kilowatt hour, that's no way I can know for sure, but I guarantee that's pretty darn close. And if it's, if it is four and a third, then 189 kilowatt hours burned to go 818 miles, $17 and 77 cents electricity for a total cost of 18 biggins, 1864. Cost per mile, 2.3 cents. Man, there is nobody that can argue electric cars aren't incredibly cheap. Except for those that say, yeah, you got, you got to replace the battery every 50,000 miles. Mm-hmm. Whatevs. Whatever. But anyway, cost per mile, 2.3 cents a mile. Now, let's look at the gas cars. A gas car equivalent. The average gas car, 24 miles to the gallon. Two dozen. Driving the same distance, it would have burned 34.1 gallons of gas. For a cost of $117.65, cost per mile, 14.4 cents, we saved $99.01 this month. And even though gas has dropped a dollar a gallon, we saved more than last month, $99.01. Look at last month, June. The savings is $88.98, but the reason is we only drove 565 miles. If you look at the... Uh, Savings per mile, 15.7 cents last month because gas was higher. This month, savings per mile was 12.1 cents. <coughs> Excuse me while I do the COVID cough. I, you know, I first started showing symptoms on Monday. This is Saturday evening. And I'm pretty much back to normal, except just, something just don't feel exactly right. I feel like something is wrong, and I'm still coughing a little bit. But anyway... The savings for 1,200 miles, uh, if I have, we have driven the average of 1,200 miles, it would have been 145 biggins. 1,200 miles is the average a person drives. I don't drive nearly average. I drive 50 miles to work and back, but I only work 
two days a week, sometimes one day a week, sometimes three days a week. Me uh, being an amputee, I only work part time. Okay, that was about two minutes of bloviating you're never going to hear because I'm going to cut it out. I got off subject and next time I knew three or four minutes have gone by. You won't know what it was because I'm, I'm not going to put you through it. <laughs> if y'all would listen, I could seriously turn on the microphone and I could talk for an hour. And there's no telling where the subject would take me. I would just, I would just start talking. I guarantee you I'd go from subject to subject to subject to subject. We wouldn't have a bit of a problem in an hour. And when I got done... I'll be the only person listening. <laughs> Y'all don't want that, so I'm not going to do it. All right. Y'all have a great day. See ya. Bye.